lot to do, including the LA County Fair, where you can see Kristen Cummings and her Jelly Belly artwork. Kristen's here with us today. Jelly Hi. Belly artwork, there must be only a few of you in the world, right? Yeah, this is something that Jelly Belly started collaborating with artists on in the 1980s, mm. commissioning pieces made completely out of Jelly Belly beans. And uh, there was a little bit of a gap after after those guys stopped doing it, mm -hmm. and then they hadn't had anybody doing it for a while. And I'm I'm local there near their factory and in international headquarters, and they asked me if I wanted to try it and see if I could do it. And I've been doing it for them for about the last ten years. All right. So what is Jelly Belly art? I, I think we can kind of guess, right? Yeah, exactly. Just... It's it's a really like a traditional mosaic, just mm -hmm. using a non-traditional medium. Let me hold one of these up. A little bit. The usually, dye. yeah, usually the pieces are very large, like four feet by five feet. Um, to do something this small, it has to be kind of like something really small and blown up, like the dice or the cherry or a little flower. But um, this weekend, I'm going to be working at the LA County Fair doing a very large piece uh, of a Harry Potter character. Oh, so you'll be out at the fair. People can come up and they can ask yeah. you questions, sort of, uh, and you can show them how you do it. Yes. So, Exactly how do you do it? You, do you start out with the, the framework to yeah. keep them all in place? Yeah, Yeah, and the, the frame helps with the final step, which is a liquid resin that I pour on. So it kind of oh, helps okay. keep it walled in. So I start out with the framed image. And um, then I, do you I paint? paint? Yeah, I do a little underpainting for each one. It's, it's not super detailed, as you can see, but just sort of to give me an idea of where I want to put the different um, lights and darks. And then also at the end, I squeeze them together as much as I can, but there are still little gaps. So with a kind of a, a you know color that's the same as on top showing underneath, it kind of helps bring the whole thing together. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. so you've got layers going on. All right, so yeah. to do this one, it looks like you picked out a, a different shades, right? So you yeah. just do, just kind of line them up there. Yeah, exactly, and kind of like I finally press found down some artwork a little bit. that I can do. Yeah, and then. It's sticky, so they. Yeah, I, after I uh, after I do the underpainting, I spray the whole thing with the spray adhesive, and then <laughs> it just leaves sort of a, a, a layer on there that is okay, enough to I, stick on for now. <laughs> I said I could do this, but now I can see I'm leaving way too much space in between. <laughs> just takes a little practice. All right, how do how do you get into something like this? You just you just jumped in when the company asked you to, and it, and did it seem yeah seem pretty easy? Well, no, <laughs> not to start out. It is now. It is now. But it's like anything else. It's just like a practice skill, and it's the same. It's the same sort of skill um, to to paint or really do any artwork. You're just like developing your eye and right. you know learning to work with the colors and like the I lights and the, the darks that they have. Yeah. <laughs> right, You're let's doing great. show one of You're these. This great. is a, a finished product. You talked about what you what you put on top the resin. Yeah, it's it's an epoxy resin. It's two liquids that you um, it's self leveling. This one this one I put quite a bit on, so there's not that much texture left. But I mean, as you can see, there's hardly any. Um, detail in this smaller one but as it gets a little larger you can get a little more of the details and like the highlight here and the lights and the darks and the jelly belly beans are just so perfect for working with this because they've got all these different this colors and values. This is really amazing Kristen. Oh because thank you. I, I mean when we look at it on camera it looks like the apple's got the little shine on it. Yeah. Here it's just pink and white jelly beans. Yeah up close it's hard to see but like it's like the um the, the pointillist or the impressionist, like the further you get back, the more it kind of comes together. It's just yeah. beautiful. How long does something so. like this take to make? Um, this one only takes a couple hours. Uh, for the big pieces, like the one I'm going to be doing at the at the fair this weekend, it usually takes about 100 hours for the whole process from start to finish, about 40 to get all the beans on. So that's why I'm there the for beans. four days. Yeah. you got to love beans. What's your the favorite? Jelly belly What's your beans? favorite? <laughs> um, my favorite are the sours right mm. now. I don't, I, I try all the new ones, and mm -hmm. I don't eat very many anymore, or I would be in trouble. But the sours, I, I, I kind of have I a I like the butter for. popcorn one. You do? <laughs> that's one of those ones that you either love or hate. I it's kind of like licorice. Love. Yeah, so. salty and yeah. All yeah, right. yeah. Thanks for being here again. You can see Kristen Cummings and her Jelly Belly art out at the county fair this weekend. LA County Fair. Stop by and say hi. Tell her you saw her on KK.